During the Great Depression, Smith's food and drug became part of the Utah landscape, and by the 1950s, the store began to expand and acquired other grocers. The first Smith's Superstore premiered in 1976. After Smith's merged with Fred Meyer Incorporated in 1998, the Federal Trade Commission approved the merger between Fred Meyer and the Kroger Company, which became the nation's largest supermarket company. The Smith's division alone has 133 stores and over 15,000 employees across the western United States. In 1932, Rufus Call Willie started selling appliances door to door. Because he ensured his customer satisfaction, his business grew and in 1950, the first R.C. Willie store opened. Over time, more stores were built along the Wasatch Front and R.C. Willie became the most well-known home furnishings retailer in Utah. Still family-owned, R.C. Willie operates 13 stores in Utah, Idaho, Nevada, and California. The company continues to be known for its variety of products, along with its customer service, product selection, in-store credit, and exceptional values. One of the largest commercial insurance agencies in the West, the Buckner Company was founded in the middle of the Great Depression by Elmer Ray Buckner. The company is still family-operated today. The tradition of placing customer service ahead of profits has survived over 60 years, and it shows. Their client retention rate is 95%, and customer service is just one reason why. Knowledgeable and experienced professionals make up the Buckner Company's staff, providing the best advice and service available. The Intermountain West Premier Orchestra, the Utah Symphony, joined forces with the Utah Opera in 2002, after a decades-long tenure as separate companies. Both companies have shaped the artistic landscape of Utah by presenting artists and performances of exceptional scope and quality. For over 20 years, Utah Symphony and Utah Opera's Deer Valley Music Festival sets a standard of high quality and musically diverse experiences in casual settings of unparalleled natural beauty. USUO also reaches more students than any other arts organization in the country. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Utah was established as Utah's first health insurance carrier 70 years ago. The Blues in Utah experienced immediate success and growth as Utahns recognized the importance of health insurance. In 1998, Utah's branch merged with the Blues companies of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho to become Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield. Today, the company is still on the cutting edge of designing products and physician hospital partnerships that help control costs for today and tomorrow. A passion sparked in Jack B. Parson when he helped his dad build roads as a teenager. That passion led him to found Jack B. Parson Companies in 1952. In 2001, Parson's company merged with Salt Lake-based Staker Paving and Construction to become Staker Parson Companies, one of the region's leading suppliers of landscape products and construction services. Staker Parson is regularly named one of Utah's fastest growing companies and is an eight-time recipient of Utah's Best of State Award. Founded in 1953 by Merrill and Lucille Christofferson, Christofferson Business Travel has been Utah's business travel leader for more than 50 years. Headquartered in Salt Lake City, it is currently ranked as the largest travel agency in Utah. The Salt Lake Chamber named Christofferson as Small Business of the Year in 1996. The company also won the Best of State Award in 2010 and 11, has been recognized as one of Utah's fastest growing companies, and was listed on Travel Weekly's 2011 Power List. Friends for Sight was established to preserve the sight of children by providing free vision screenings. It allows Utah residents to have all the joys and benefits of normal vision while avoiding the pitfalls of poor vision. Their main concerns are lazy eye blindness in children, visual acuity, and glaucoma in adults. Friends for Sight has screened over half a million children, that's over a million eyes. Free screenings are offered throughout schools, community health fairs, and corporations.